Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a cryptid encounter. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what the what to call it except as a cryptid because this is an actual real sea monster. I did a video a few weeks ago about the Megalodon, the ancient giant shark, which was the inspiration for the book and later the movie Jaws. Megalodon did in fact exist. We know that from the fossil record and from all of the teeth which have been found. Do they exist today? Who knows? People have reported seeing abnormally large, great white sharks in various places around the world, but especially around Australia and Africa. I think it is possible. After all, the coelacanth was thought to be extinct for 65 million years, and suddenly we find out that not only do they still exist, but at least two different species of coelacanth. They still swim in our oceans. The giant squid is real. Juvenile versions have washed ashore. And full-grown ones have been photographed and videotaped. Uh, I want to say they're over around Japan. Our oceans are still mostly unexplored, and it may very well be that counting anything as extinct might be a bit premature. Remember, there's always a bigger fish. Enter the Duncleistus. Dun Duncleistus. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, before we get into this, if you enjoy my content, it would really help me out if you would hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share my content on social media, and post a comment or two. Remember, I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. If you enjoy a good book, check out my author page on Amazon. My pen name is H.L. Anderson. You can find all seven of my books there. I like to think I write good stories that make you think. All right, the Duncleistus. Here we go. An experienced diver, known for his fearless attitude and skill, went on a routine dive off the coast of California in a shark cage. Now, I looked. I couldn't find this guy's name anywhere. I could not find his name. But here we go. I found multiple sources, and not a damn one of them had his name. Here we go. He saw a shadow moving toward the cage, and he assumed it was another great white shark, which is what he's there for, to film, you know, underwater marine life. Then the creature got closer and he was able to see it more clearly. It was 30 feet, 30 feet long and had armor plates with jaws capable of crushing bone and a mouth that was large enough to engulf a human being. The creature stared at him for a moment before slowly circling the cage. All the while, it stared at him with a predatory gaze. The diver remained still and managed to get quality video of the beast before it swam off. Yeah. Marine biologists are currently studying the video, but they believe it is a Duncleistus, a marine predator thought to be extinct for over 360 million years. If the video proves real and the creature turns out to be a Duncleistus, then our entire understanding of marine biology and maritime evolution will need to be rewritten. All of those people who claim to have seen other types of marine monsters like Megalodon or the Loch Ness Monster or the various lake monsters and such, maybe they weren't lying, maybe they weren't crazy. I remember reading an article about a great white shark which something bigger had taken a bite out of. There was a great white shark. I, I want to say it washed ashore, but something had taken a huge bite out of its side. Maybe the Duncleistus population is branching out and searching for different food sources. Um, if that's the case, it, it could very well have been a Duncleistus that did this to this white shark, great white shark. Many, it, it may, what, what if there are so many of these Duncleistus that they start roaming closer to shore in search of food? This, this, sh this diver in the shark cage wasn't very far off the coast of California. I'm just saying. I would imagine a 30-foot armored critter could easily capsize a small fishing boat. What if this 30-foot this, uh, specimen is an infant? Maybe Megalodon is the least of our worries. My, my, my fear here is that people are going to dismiss this. And if these things, if there's a numerous population of them, if this isn't the last of its kind, and there are numerous 
it's a very numerous population of these things. They're going to need food. And thirty a, a critter that's 30 feet, feet long, a marine predator, it eats a lot. So I'm thinking they're going to need to branch out and get different food sources. I hate to say it, but maybe Megalodon really is the least of our worries. I mean, you know, who knows? Uh, at any rate, uh, do your own research, and if I got anything wrong, put it in the comments, please. I hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good one. God bless one and all. Vanguard 1, Devo Poland, a scientific representative from a pacifist race called the Gandiri, has come to Earth to learn the one thing that humans do better than anyone else in the galaxy, to fight. In the sequel, Task Force Terminus, Earth is at war with an alien race called the Imdola. Devo Poland's new commission in the Terran fleet exposes him to bigotry and treachery, and he comes to realize that sometimes political and military maneuvering are one and the same.